What's going on, everyone? Ivy G here, coach of the Texas, I mean, Houston Tyrantrums. Sorry for the mismatches. Back again for our week two match against Victini, coach of the Liberty Island Victinis. If you haven't already seen the team, go and check out my team video, which, I sh which will show the Pokemon and sets I brought. Or we'll just we'll skip that and watch the battle video. Anyways, he decides to bring Victini, Tentacruel, Uniclus, Fridilly, Gigalith, and Mamoswine. It was a little weird because I was expecting more of Kartana, maybe even Krogat, or possibly even Cloyster from his team. But anyways, let's get into the battle. First off, I'll lead with Chandelure while he leads with the Uniclus. This was a good, really good play on my part. And it was really hard for me to decide whether I wanted to go into Tangrowth or Chandelure. But I ended up getting the bigger end of the stick. I go straight for the Shadow Ball knowing that he doesn't have a switch in for this and he just goes for the Trick Move. Now I knew that this could have been bad for me, but I knew I had a counter. So I easily sent in. I sent in a Lola Muck, which is Assault Vest, and it could easily take a hit. The Shadow Ball did nothing but I lost, got, a, got a special defense drop. I knew he might have switched out, and even if he didn't, Pursuit still did like around 30, 35 to 45 damage. So Pursuit was the best play right here. He then sent a Gigalith, and I knew he was going to Earthquake, so I swapped into Salamence. No, sorry about that. I swapped into Tangrowth to take any hit. And I knew he wouldn't stay in here, because I could have easily Giga Drained right here. But he swaps, up, swaps, swaps into Victini. And I make a good play here going for the Sleep Powder, since I was expecting him to switch. <laughs> I swap out into Chandelure, because I know I can get a free sh Shadow Ball off of anything. He decided to stay in here just to waste his uh, turn to sleep, and he goes into Mammoth Swine. It did around did 60% of damage to Mammoth Swine. So I swap back. Here I go into Salamence and get the Intimidate off, and he goes for the Knock Off. I expected him to go for Earthquake, but it was weird. Now, I was really contemplating at this point on whether if this Mammoth Swine is scarfed, because my Chandelure is scarfed as well. So that's why I swapped it out instead of just staying in and go for Shadow Ball. Here shows Ice Shard, which shows that he wasn't scarfed and could have possibly been like Focus Sash. Well, I was lucky enough, I was able to live it with the Intimidate drop and hit back with the Dragon Claw. He then sent the Cradilly. I go for the Fine EMZ. Fire Fang, which turns his Inferno Overdrive, but he swaps into Gigalith, so this move does nothing, and I end up lo losing Salamence to Sandstorm. I then sh send in Empoleon to set up rocks while he goes for the Earthquake, but I brought Sugarberry just for just for any Earthquake attacks. I then go for the Scald, and I get the Burn, luckily, and then he sets up his own rocks. I knew that he was, that even if he left it in, I was so good to play here, but I knew that it was possible for him to swap out. So this play, he, while he went to Cray Daily, I clicked Ice Beam, and it did a little under 50%, but it was still able to kill him with, or two-shot him with Ice Beam. He then goes into Victini, but makes a double into Tentacruel. I go for Scald here, because I thought he was going to stay in, but luckily, it burned him either way. I then go into Crazy Art, um, a little muck. And he goes for the knockoff, which is something I didn't expect. I just expected the scald at that point. But he goes to waterfall, so this was a physical tentacruel. Something I would never see. And that go for the knockoff. It turns out he was a salt vest. He then brings the Victini. He wakes up his turn and goes for a recreate. And I'm knowing that I can switch in with that minus one speed. I can go for Shadow Ball, where he swaps into Gigalith. And it really scared me at this point because I was real scared if this big team was scarfed. But it turns out he wasn't, so I just went for the Shadow Ball. And that's all the game wrote. So I ended up winning 4 0 against him. He was a little sad at the end of the match, but I told him, don't worry about it. It's it's all on how you prep and how well you come into the battle, how good you come into a battle. I really could have done a lot better. I really wanted to use. Got Ventura a whole lot more, and Tango's a whole lot more. But I guess it wasn't ti their time to shine for this vi for this battle. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in week three for our team building and our battle. Goodbye.